Oh my goodness. What did you do to that pizza? So we need to watch more cooking videos on. <laughs> it's squeezing my cheeks. What do you mean by I used five pounds of MSG on pizza. Oh, but of course I'm watching this bitch. Why not? Why not? <laughs> like, bro, M 500 M five pounds of MSG, sorry, on pizza sounds preposterous. I need to see what happens. Y'all know me. I'm a curious man. I need to see what's going on, man. And I, at the same time, we get to see some pizza as well. So let's get stuck in to see what's cooking here. Today's video, we are pushing pizza. Oh my God, that looks so good. Look at the meat. Nah, that meat look damn good. Pause to that, but you know what I'm trying to say. My God. It is one of the most popular. Oh, wait a minute. So this is like, damn, the crust is like a bowl and you got like the cheese curds curved or concaved pepperoni this looks immaculate if i could have a pizza like this that shit would be bust trust me now can it be any better that crust Especially looks so King good Paul pizzas the neapolitan style today we're going to be using msg to see how much oh my push it. goodness more msg what did you do to that pizza and everything starts off with the poolish you just gotta combine all of these ingredients let it rest so you need yeast honey water and flour god man room temperature for one hour and then stick it in the fridge overnight mm. here's how we're gonna run this experiment for my pizza dough recipe you need 30 grams of salt and instead of using that i'm gonna be replacing it completely with msg now hold on now bro replaced salt with msg Hold on, let me see if this is safe, because it's a flavor enhancer, I know that much. Yo, let's see what happens here, man. No salt on the dough at all. So first, we have to throw in all of the poolish. Then you gotta measure out 700 grams of water okay. and save half a cup. Make sure that water is nice and cold, because everything goes in with the poolish. Start blending that and set your timer for 20 minutes. Then you wanna add 11 grams of flour. Ooh. And since I'll be making two recipes, one will have 30 grams of MSG, and the other recipe will just have regular salt. Mm. Now we let the machine do its thing. After about 10 minutes, add the remaining water little by little. And by the time you're done with all of the cold water, the dough is almost ready oh that dough looks so good oil into a counter and remove all of the dough from the mix. hold on wait a minute he put olive oil on the counter what god damn man i didn't man i didn't know dudes was oiling up the counter shit man listen i need to get a marble countertop so i could actually be cooking on that bitch put some damn cooking oil on that a little bit of heat a little bit of canola fry some eggs up in that bitch man how, how hard would it be to scramble some eggs on a countertop that's a good question then you want to stretch out the dough italians call this the camicia fold which translates to shirt fold. now fold everything into itself make a nice tight ball yo a little bit of olive oil right on top and cover it up for 30 minutes once the time is up uncover it and immediately start making the dough balls once they're done they should be nice and pretty like this then put them down in a box damn yo i'm getting hungry Yo, I, hey, we need to watch more cooking videos still, though. We need to watch more cooking videos on. <laughs> on me. Add a little bit of olive oil on top and let them rise. As now, it's time to make some pizzas. Mm. The first one we're going to be doing is the tradition. Nah, that pizza looked like it. Boston, man. Just the right amount of tomato sauce or whatever. Got that cheese looking nice and white. You know that cheese. Fresh. No margarita. These are the MSG dough. What's oh, the margarita pizza? Semolina and flour mix. I went ahead and started stretching the dough. Then it was time for some tomato sauce. Oh. Which, by the way, if you've never made some, it's quite simple. Into a bowl, you want to throw in some canned tomatoes. Okay. Crush them really good. Then you want to get some nice fresh basil. And nah, bro, got the basil growing on the countertop. That's how you know it fresh. Let me, let me take a look at that basil, man. Drop it in. Drop that bitch in. Throw them in. Oh, to finish oh, it up, oh. just add olive oil, followed by salt, mix everything well, and your sauce is done. It doesn't get any easier than that. That is a simple sauce recipe, man. Yo, I used to over overthink that shit. I'd buy it pre-made, but... So you just do tomato sauce, salt, and some basil. That's it? Correct. There's no need to cook since it's gonna go in the pizza oven. Once the sauce has been added, go ahead and add some fresh mozzarella right on top. Oh, to that's mozzarella? Parmigiano Reggiano, followed by a little bit of olive oil, and now it's ready to go into the oven. You know what I'm learning? There's a lot of olive oil in, in a homemade pizza, man. You got, like, the olive oil for it to rest, the olive oil for the dough to, like, damn, sit for 30 minutes, and then the olive oil that goes in this as well. That's a whole 
lot of olive oil. Every pizza we're making today is Neapolitan style. And this thing cooks in about 60 seconds. 60 seconds? Oh, shit. Check it out. We have the traditional margarita pizza. God damn, bro. That is a pizza. Oh, God, it's so good. Murderer. I'm telling you, bro. That is a pizza. And you know that crust bussin', bro. Oh, lo, 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 put me on, man. Sub me in. Hold on. I got to close the door behind me, man. Because, you know, I, I don't like I don't like niggas watching me from the back. And I got some spookies in my building. What? All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Keep in mind that I'm making two of them. One with the MSG dough and the other one just the traditional. Method. Oh, okay. I want to see the difference. I understand if this test works. I'm going to make a few more. The very next one starts almost identical to the previous one. However, on top of everything, I went ahead and added some pepperoni. We got that pepperoni. Yes, sir, man. Here it goes. I made sure to stretch it as big as possible and cook it in a super hot oven. Like I mentioned, this takes no time at all. That is Even beautiful. Then, I drizzle some hot honey right on top. And of course, a tiny basil to be healthy. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hot honey on pizza? Wait, we might be cooking. Hold on. Hot honey on pizza. That's news to me. I won't lie to you. But I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think about how the, the flavor contrasts with everything that's going on. The savory tastes. He might be on to something here. I might have to give that a try. Hot honey on pizza. This one is going to please a lot of people. Visually, there is no differences between the MSG and the control. Nice, beautiful bubbles were formed on the crust. Damn. It's still super crunchy. But there's one more pizza I got to do that I think it's going to be even Lord better than all the others. Bus. And it starts off pretty normal. Once it's stretched, I threw in some tomato sauce, followed by Parmigiano Reggiano. I love hearing the, the correct pronunciation of these words, man. Parmigiano. Oh, I use, I, you know me, man. I just be Parmesan as fuck. Parmesan. How did you say that? Parmesan. Let me, let me run it back real quick. By Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano. Immediately oh. goes into the oven. Once it's fully cooked, set it down on the table. As now we got to prepare this special ingredient. It's called stracciatella. And if you've never had it, it's basically the thing that is inside of a burrata. It's delicious. Just make sure to let it drain out a little bit before pouring. Wait, what is a burrata? If not, it's going to be way too wet. But we're not done yet, as we still need the most important ingredient. And that would be this. Three beautiful Wagyu picanhas. You got to keep the seasoning quite simple. A good amount of salt and that's it. You know that Wagyu going bust, man. I need to start seasoning like this, man. Just a little salt, call it a day. I'd be going overboard with my seasoning, man. I feel like I'd be doing too much with Mr. Dash and salt. But yo, damn, that look good. As once it's fully seasoned, outside we went to the grill. Whenever you cook a picanha, the first thing you want to do is to put a nice, wonderful sear. Be really careful though, because the fat will start melting on you and you will get flare-ups. Mm. All you got to do is twist the grill to put it in indirect heat so things... Damn, can okay. Repeat the process as many times as needed to ensure that you get a nice, beautiful crust. Golden brown is what you're looking for. As one Bro, look at the sizzle, man. Look at the sizzle. I feel like I had I feel like to truly make it in life I need to own my own grill man. That's how I know I would have truly made it to the top of being a man. Owning a grill. This looks fantastic, bro. Once the picanha looks nice and beautiful, add in a thermometer so you can cook Oh, he on that thermometer room. level. I'm looking for an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. As once that's done, your picanhas are ready. And if you've never had this cut, take a look. It is what I like to call the perfect steak. Damn. To say that it is the best steak I ever had is another. What would you say that is? That's like medium rare? Medium, or is that, nah, yeah, that's kind of medium rare, kind of cooked on the outside. Me, personally, I don't know if I could have this one, man. It's a little too pink on the inside, man. It's just a little too pink on the inside for me. Am I a well-done person? Not necessarily. But at the same time, man, that shit pink, man. Damn near blue at that point. She looked good, though. I won't lie. Like, if I look past the fact that the meat is pink as fuck, she looked good. Understatement. It's just 
perfect. Ooh. But to put it on a pizza, we gotta slice it super thin, almost like sashimi style. As once that's done, I add it right on top of the stracciatella, followed by an incredible creamy sauce. To make it, it's super simple. Into a food processor, throw in some garlic, garlic. followed by anchovies, lemon juice, lemon zest, Dijon mustard, and mayo. Now blend everything on high and add this delicious sauce to the steak pizza. Because to finish it up, put a basil right in the middle and add a tiny bit of olive oil. Bro, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, no matter how much I want to learn how to cook, the thing is, like, these dudes, they got the smallest ingredients, man. They got all sorts of niche ingredients that I, I like, I can't justify owning anchovies. What I do, what am I doing buying anchovies? I got no reason to buy anchovies outside of making this pizza. And that's what discourages me from cooking, man. Like, you see these dudes and you see, they open their kitchen and they got fresh greens. They got the damn, the mints and the herbs and and all these different additives and, and seasonings. God damn, they even got the little squeezies per sauce. I, I, I don't got none of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's discouraging, but cool to watch. This is by far the best pizza I have ever made in my life. What? You are gonna understand the reason why right now. So let's begin right here. We start real far from the- No MSG Margarita pizza, man. Holy. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Shit, I'm really about to watch Man Sam eat this delicious looking pizza. Man, it is what it is, man. Mmm. This is pizza perfection. Heaven. What do you think, Sebastian? Mm. <laughs> so good. Good pizza? I, I miss this pizza. It's good, I right? It. That is amazing, everybody. You guys think? You like it? I did a magic trick. My pizza gone. Now I want to know your opinion on this one. Please grab it. I want to know if there's any difference and how much the difference is. Enough talking. If there's any difference in how much the difference is, I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> I'm going to roll with it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Wow. It's squeezing my cheeks. What do you mean by that? Hold on now. What do you mean by that? It's correct. Like, what the f*** do you mean by that, bro? I, I didn't know pizza could do all of that. Now that, that that pizza is damn near extracurricular. I didn't know pizza go that far. Incredible, everybody! After tasting that first slice of pizza, I thought it was impossible for pizza to get better, and somehow you were able to make it taste better. When I took the bite, it tasted like a regular pizza, but it kept lingering. It just stays in yeah. your mouth. Like right now, everything is down here on the belly, everybody. But I'm telling you right now, it's still feeling in my mouth. Like mm -hmm. it's just stay and it's like. It's a wonderful taste, everybody. So the, here's the deal with this pizza, okay? This one here, I use regular salt. But instead of using salt on this one, I just use MSG, the same exact amount. Nothing oh. crazy, not too much, everybody. But it actually made the pizza better, at least for us. Mm. Now, what I want to know is if the toppings makes any difference. So here's what I recommend. Okay, so the MSG is better. Okay, got it. I thought the MSG, mm. I always assume like, no, I'm, well, it's that flavor, though. You know what I'm saying? It's that flavor, man. You could go raw and healthy, but you, you're going to miss that flavor. Damn, man. Fold it on the top, and let's take a bite. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. You feel a little bit of that sweetness with the hot yeah. honey? Mm. Really good. <laughs> good, huh? <laughs> the hot honey adds a surprising sweetness. That I got to try that, man. I think they're onto something with that hot honey, man. Oh, man, oh, fuck, I'm hungry now. Ah, uh, damn, man. I was not expecting whatsoever, but it's pretty freaking good. Absolutely delicious. But can, can we do this one? I mean, take a look at that pizza. Wow, look at good that. Good looking crust, pizza. Everybody. Nice and bubbly at the same time, crunchy. And even though this pizza... Nah, man. That crust looks immaculate. I won't even lie to you. Like, this is a pizza. These are pizzas, man. None of that shit you get from damn pizza, pizza, and, and pizzeria. No disrespect to y'all. I get that bag, but still, like, bruh, this is pizza. Pizza has been here for a little bit. I just want you to hear, please. Oh! Wow, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That is damn good. You said this is Wagyu? Yes. Are you having any, Are you okay? I, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I kind of feel like that too, just watching this, man. It's like, God damn, that Wagyu hit the tongue and it's like... You know what I'm saying? It's too much. There's too many flavors going around. 
the other toppings were really delicious, but it does not compare to that nice beefy wagyu, that sauce on it too. It's so nice, and the fat seeps into the bread. Oh, was that the end of it? Damn, yo, that video was good. That video was short and sweet too, man. That's my kind of video. I like that it was straight to the point. Listen, man, that pizza looked like this one here, especially the one with the wagyu on it. That shit looked like it's busting, man. And the crust, the crust is speaking to me on levels I've never heard before, man. I kind of want to actually order a pizza for myself. That ass, like, I'm being straight up honest with you. The last time I had, the last time I ordered a pizza, and pizza used to be something that was, like, almost weekly for me. The last time I ordered my own pizza, it was, like, 2021, bro. And that's shocking to me. I've had pizza since then, but, like, it, like maybe at a company event or something like that. But the last time I ordered my own pizza was years ago, man. And I kind of want to order some shit now that or make my own man because this this looks immaculate amazing video though i actually want to watch some more stuff from this channel to be honest like bro got some good vibes going on shout out to Guga foods or, or juga or, or gaga i like this man I, I i'm trying to add as much variety to what I, I watch as possible so expect to see more man but until then i'll see you all peace out bye